Mike De Palma, you come out tonight against uh, Lenny Richardson. Lenny's all over you in the first period. A lot of great attacks on you. You weather the storm, you scramble like a typical <laughs> junkyard dog Italian right. stallion, and uh, you're able to avoid those takedowns on the edge, and then you go Pennsylvania on them on top. You tell me, it's not your best position. You don't feel like top's your best position. You're not your stereotypical Pennsylvania kid. How did you, how were you able to pull that one out and, and just beside, you know, and you, then you got him in the third period, you really broke Good job tonight, buddy. Well, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I've just been working on it a lot lately, getting guys flat before I get to the tilt, so uh, it's just something I've been working on trying to get together. How tough was that guy when you're, he's in on your legs, you're scrambling. What's your thought process on the edge of the mat when he's all over your legs? Don't give him a takedown. I mean, I, I didn't really feel in danger at any time. I mean, I was close, but I knew he couldn't get the takedown as long as I get my hips on his back and my legs around him. How good do you think you're the best scrambler on the team? Do I think I am? Yeah. I'm terrible at scrambling. And in those positions, you're scrambling well, though. Uh, yeah, I, I should have been getting my hips back, though. and you know, I, I should have been getting my hips back. So uh, Thursday, Ohio State. What's the mentality going into Ohio State Thursday? Uh, they they just took a uh, beating from Penn State, pretty good one. Yeah. Eight matches to two. Stever loses. Uh, Paddock, you watch that match? Are you ready for Paddock on Thursday? Yeah, you know I've uh, I've watched all his matches. Uh, I'm a scouter. I like to scout my guys. I like to see what they're about. And I like if I start putting my leg to tax and back together a little bit for that next match, I can really uh, put the points up in the kid. When you look at the mat wrestling that you've put together this year, every, you know, in the matches, besides we had the slowest start to begin with, you rode Gahala's hard. You rode Richardson hard tonight. Are you looking more to the top wrestling now? I'm using it if I can. I'm just, I mean, I'm just sticking to what I can do. I'm trying to get the guy flat, and if I can get to the tail, I'm going to get to the tail. That's what will separate the match and, uh, when it's tight. Were you surprised at all with how you beat Eric Rahalas? No. Nah. No? You don't look, you don't look, at, look at it like, hey, this guy, you know, he's been in the round of 12 a couple of times, ranked fifth. Did you look at that at all? Uh, uh, I looked at more as I could have scored more points. I mean, I kind of shut down in the third period, gave up a takedown, whereas I could have got a major for the team if I would have stayed in better position and fought a little harder. I, I kind of just relaxed, though, and was happy with getting the win where I should have been, you know, no, I should have been getting another takedown and getting after this guy and breaking him even more. And then it's an extra point for our team that we would have had in the dual meet. I mean, that's a difference in the dual meet right there. So there were some positives, like, yeah, it was a nice win, but there's also some negatives to it. Like, I, I should have put up more points on the kid, and I should have opened up more and not shut down, so. Your first weekend, you were 0-3. Uh, not, I'm sorry, your first weekend in duels. You yeah. actually took fourth at the Clarion Open, yeah. split a couple matches, wrestled Hunter Stieber. Yeah. And, uh, but when you look at the 0-3 start in duels for you, what did you change? You know, you look tough now. You don't look like the same guy you looked from opening weekend okay. at Virginia Tech. What have you changed? Uh, you know, nothing's actually really changed, except for maybe like, uh, just focus on being consistent in the room. And I think that weekend was honestly just a fluke. It's just something that, Something wasn't right mentally for that, and I don't know what happened. I, even so to this day, I, I don't know. I, I couldn't put my finger on what happened and why I wrestled that bad. So, And I was up against tough competition, not, not to take that away, but you know, I really didn't put my best performance on the mat that day, and it kind of snowballed on me. Tell me about the Pennsylvania versus Ohio rivalry in the Kent State wrestling room. Oh, it's all day. It's battles. <laughs> it's every day. It's, it's, it's war out there. I heard Baxter come off the mat and start jawing at Ian. <laughs> What's that all about? He said, uh, as soon as he came off the, the mat, he said, hey, Ian, that's how PA boy rides. <laughs> just to, just to get, get, get on him a little bit. So he's a lot of his work from his feet, and you guys are trying to show him how to wrestle on the mat, right? Who's that? Ian. Yeah. He can wrestle on the mat. I just don't think he likes to use it. All right, you got anything else for me? <laughs> that's good. All right, Thank I'll you. see you Thursday, and good luck. All right, thank you.